Championships are upon us, with plenty of new rainbow jerseys ready to be handed out over a week of racing in Wollongong, Australia. Ingrid Paul sets foot on Australian soil for the World Cup mother, it's cold here. Two days after his historic victory in the Vuelta a España, Remco Ingrid has arrived in Australia, where the next challenge is already waiting. The World Cup will be held in Wollongong from Sunday 18 to Sunday 25th of September. Ingrid Paul does not get much rest after his triumph in Red at La Vuelta. The 22-year-old leader of a Belgian team had decided to go to Australia slightly later than his Belgian teammates and to be able to travel in business class. Just before midnight Belgian time he set foot on Australian soil. The winner of the Vuelta a España was immediately congratulated for his historic achievement. Even Napoleon immediately made it clear that temperatures in Australia are slightly lower than in hot Spain. Wow, it's cold in here, he said. Even Napoleon does not have much time to get used to the Australian climate. On Sunday he will start in the World Championship time trial. Together with Yves Lampard, that world title is still missing from Belgium historical records, ITT of since 1994 and Philippe Gilbert win in 2012 in the road race. A week later he also starts in the World Championship road race. Yves Lampard also landed in Australia. Belgium national coach Sven van der Inhout and Yves Lampard, time trial and road race, have already checked into the team hotel earlier today. As one of the final major events of the season, it's no surprise that the start lists are packed with big names hoping to do battle for the title of world champion. In the men's race, two-time world champion Julien Lafilippe, France, is back in action after crashing out of the Vuelta a España and he'll be hoping to add a third rainbow jersey to his collection. Wout van is among the top favorites too, and the 2020 silver medalist is joined in the Belgian squad by Vuelta champion Remco van der Poel. Classics men Mathieu van der Poel, Netherlands, and Ben Yemgerme, Eritrea, are also rated among the favorites. Michael Matthews, Australia, is the home favorite, the versatile sprinter often performing well at the Worlds. Fellow versatile fastman Alexander Kristoff, Norway, and Matteo Trenton, Italy, are also riders to watch. Climbers Tade Pragakar, Slovenia, and Juan Ayuso, Spain, will hope to take advantage of the hilly course, while elsewhere Fred Wright, Great Britain, Philippe Hogana, Alberto Bediol, Italy, and Stefan Kung, Switzerland, are also key men to follow during the week. The women's races will play host to a swathe of top names, with the Dutch squad topping the start list as Onamiek van Vluden, Marianne Vo, Demi Vollering, and Dylan van de Kahl heading to Australia. Lotte Kopecky, Belgium, Kasia Nui Adoma, Poland, and Cecilia Uta Plodwig, Denmark, are among the other big favorites, as are Italian duo Elisa Longo Bargini and reigning road champion Elisa Balsamo. Elsewhere, look out for Juliette Labus, France, Grace Brown, Australia, Kristen Faulkner, USA, and Marlon Weiser, Switzerland. Help us to bring you the best cycling content. Please share, like, and subscribe.